So two days ago, I was out on a ride and I stumbled upon this spot where all the pine needles had been scratched up underneath a pine tree. And I've seen that before. It's typically one of two things. It is either where a flock of wild turkeys have come through and they're scratching around looking for tasty things to eat, or it is where a bobcat or a mountain lion has made a kill and they scratch all the pine needles up over top of what they've killed in order to hide it from other predators and birds and things. It, so I looked around a little bit and sure enough, there's a big mound right in the middle of all of this. It was bigger than what I typically have seen um, a mountain lion do when they cover a deer, but there wasn't anything sticking out of the pine needles except for a little tuft of hair. So I left it alone and I went back and got one of my trail cameras. And when I came back to put the trail camera on it, uh, I noticed that sticking out on one end of this pile was the hoof of an elk, which is why the pile was so big. It was actually covering an entire elk, not just a deer. So I've waited a couple days. I'm going back now to take a look and see what, um, if anything, I have caught on the trail camera. Hopefully I had it in a good spot, but it poured rain a few times since I put it out. So there's a chance that it um, got fogged up and didn't get good pictures. Anyway, I have my bear mace here with me. I typically just clip it on my um, coat or pants, but I'm actually carrying it in my hand today because while I'm pretty familiar with cougar behavior, I'm not actually sure um, how defensive they might get over someone coming on a fresh kill like that that they have. I do have my dogs with me. That's always a safety precaution that I take. Oh, that's wild turkeys. They can make just kind of a terrible screeching sound sometimes when you're out in the woods. Anyway, um, it's a little bit unnerving crawling into the bushes where a cougar stashed to kill. So I'm going to go ahead and be as careful as I can. And um, hopefully I, I can check the camera and see if we got any good footage on there. Okay. I'm almost to where this elk carcass is. I like to scan all the trees just to make sure there's not a cougar up in one of them. I did see a golden eagle fly away just a minute ago. So it sounds like maybe the birds have already found it. It's in a pretty brushy area. So it is uh, less than ideal for a place to go walking around when there could be any number of predators close by. Okay, there's definitely been action. You can see the carcass has actually mostly been eaten already, which is amazing because just two days ago it was completely covered and um, had hardly been touched. Here's the pile of pine needles, if you can see it. Something's definitely been in here and had a feast, it looks like. Ooh, it's starting to smell too. Huck, huck, no. Okay, I just pulled the card out of my game camera and this is all we've got left here. A big mound where it was covered and there's some guts and stuff in there. 
and it looks like probably a yearling elk from the size of it. Definitely bigger than a deer, but not a full-sized elk. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and vacate the area. Come on, boys. Huck, Smokey, come. Before something decides to come back, well, I'm here. Stand by for pictures.
Okay, I'm back out by the elk hill. And check this out. It's only been a few days. And there is nothing left except for a few bones and a little bit of fur. And uh, that's pretty much it. Three hungry cougars clean up an elk pretty fast. And uh, I'm sure there were some birds that came in. And I don't know, I, I still have to pull the card out of my trail cam and see if anything else came in on this. I suspect that with three cougars eating on it, they guarded it pretty closely and there may not be a lot of other predators that came in. There might be some stuff that comes through now that there's just bones and uh, they might clean up what's left. And that's, that's something that's really fascinating about this and that I think is always important to remember is cougars are supposed to eat deer and elk. That's what they're supposed to eat. So we can't really begrudge them killing deer and elk. I know there's a lot of sort of hysteria and fear around large predators where people, you know, essentially are saying, bad cougar, you shouldn't be killing the deer and elk. Those are our deer and elk or, you know, dumb stuff like that where people try to pretend that somehow the wildlife belongs to us instead of the animals that are made to eat it that can't go to the supermarket and get whatever they want, whenever they want. So no begrudging cougars for killing deer and elk. But the cool thing is um, when they kill these animals, it's seeing how many other animals end up getting fed. It's this really complicated network. And, you know, it's not just a cougar killing an elk and eating an elk and that's it. There's bobcats, there's coyotes, there's, um, birds, eagles. What do you see smoke? Boy, I have these dogs out here on alert for me and I probably shouldn't actually be standing right next to this carcass for too long. You saw in the video how those cougars just disappear into the bushes. You can't see them. They're 10 feet away and they just disappear. So anyway, back to what I was saying and then I'm going to wrap it up and get out of here. Well, it's just me and the dogs. But the, the circle of life is amazing and cool. And there's a lot of smaller animals that rely on the cougars to make these kills for them to get nutrients that they wouldn't be able to get any other way, especially in the winter time when food is so scarce. And um, it's really, it's really neat to see all the other animals that get to feed off of the same kill that a cougar will make. And so again, it's what they do. It's really neat to be able to have a little window into it. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see it a little bit. I love, I love seeing this. I love sharing it. And I will um, try to put some more cool stuff up and hopefully you guys will follow along. You can go hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see what else we can do.